to add, remove, and manage users in your Noify account, open up the admin section and go to the tab that's labeled Users. From here, you'll have the ability to add a new user to your Noify account by clicking where it says Add User at the top of the screen. First, you'll select what type of access you want this user to have. Users with no access to Noify don't log in, but other users can enter time for them. Users with mobile access to Noify can use Noify's smartphone app, but can't log in on the web browser. And users with regular access to Noify can access both the mobile as well as the web version of Noify based off of what permissions they're given. We'll start by creating a user with no access to Noify. You'll see you're prompted for a first and last name, but other fields such as cell phone number or employee ID are optional. The other mandatory field would be what their role is at the company. You can select from the existing options or type a new name to generate another role in the account. You can also select what team or department they work on, who their direct manager is, and what employee they should be connected to when syncing their time to QuickBooks. If we switch this user to a user with mobile access instead of no access, it'll enable two permissions for tracking both their own as well as other users' time and their email address will become a required field so they have the ability to log into the system. Since they'll have the ability to log into the mobile app, they'll also have the ability to enter purchases so you can adjust this user's approval authority to control how much they can submit in purchases without review from their direct manager. In this case, anything submitted above $100 will have to be approved by Jack Johnson. You can see that the permission tracks their time is automatically turned on as it's the minimum recommended amount of permissions that any user should have. You can also turn on is a foreman, which allows this user to track time for other resources, both from mobile and if necessary, from the web as well. If the user needs to have permission and access to more of Noify than just the mobile app, we can change the type of access from user with mobile access to Noify to a user with regular access to Noify. You'll see that this opens up more permissions that are available for this user to get access to inside Noify. If you mark the permission that says it's responsible for managing vendor bills, this user will have the ability to enter bills from vendors into Noify for the sake of logging costs against jobs, as well as record payments made against those bills. If you mark the permission is responsible for invoicing clients, this user will have the ability to now generate invoices to send to clients through Noify as well as manage their payments. You'll see that this automatically enables views employee rates and job financials since oftentimes they're required in order to create and send invoices. If you select the feature Can Access QuickBooks or Is Your Accountant, this gives the user the ability to see the status of the QuickBooks sync and make adjustments to mapping as needed. It's worth noting that the user does not need to be able to access QuickBooks in order to have this permission, and turning it on does not give them access to the QuickBooks account either. If you enable the permission labeled Manages Client Agreements, this will give the user the ability to generate proposals and contracts to send to the client. You'll see this also automatically enables Manages or Estimates Jobs, since they need to have the ability to create and manage jobs if they need to create and manage client agreements as well. Schedules Company Resources gives the user the ability to access Noify scheduling tools to assign different resources to jobs and have it show up on their mobile app. The last permission, Is a Noify System Administrator, gives this user access to anything that's covered in the admin section. It's worth noting that anyone who's a system administrator can see anything around employee rates and change their permissions whenever they need. When we click Add User, we can choose to either have Noify generate a temporary password for them and send them an invitation. You can send your own password to them and have Noify still send the email welcoming them to join the account. Or you can set this up later by clicking option 3 or cancel. In the user screen, you'll also have the ability to search for different users in the account by typing their name in above. And from here, you can edit any of their permissions or information by clicking the edit button next to their name. You also have the ability here to send a new welcome email if they didn't receive their first one or if you'd like to change their password and invite them again. And you can reset their password here as well as needed. When you reset password, you also have the prompt to send an email from this screen as well. If you ever need to remove a user from your account, 
you can edit the user by using the same button on the right, and at the bottom of the screen where it says More Actions, you can click Disable User. When a user is disabled, they'll no longer have access to log into the Noify account and make any changes. If the user needs to be reactivated at a later date, you can click where it says Show Inactive on the right hand side of the screen, search for the user's name, and click the same icon on the far right to enable. Once they're enabled, they'll be able to log in again and you can change their password and send a new welcome email if necessary. As a best practice, whenever you're done adding a new user, you should go to the Rates and Resources tab to set up their labor costing rates. This is where you'll see a full list of resources that are set up in the account and control what their hourly cost is when time is tracked for them in Jobs and Noify. You can put in a base rate that this employee is paid and control whether it's hourly or annually. Then you can enter the benefits that they receive per hour, the amount that's paid in tax, any insurance, union wages, and any other factors that go into how much this employee costs you per hour. The number on the far right will be the one that's used for job costing whenever they track time to jobs in Noify. The last thing to note when setting up new users in Noify is to go to the Customize tab and review advanced permissioning as necessary. This is where you can control which users that aren't admins can have access to view things like cost, revenue, profitability of jobs, and you can also filter which jobs are visible by users based off of whether or not they're a project manager or a sales lead on that job. If you ever have questions or concerns about what users can and can't see in their Noify account, we always recommend creating a fake user to set up the set of permissions that seems to make the most sense and log in using that email just to confirm it's going to work before giving other users access.